everybody. Welcome back to the Amateur Hour Sports Podcast. Colin and Roman are joining me for today's episode. Hello, hello. What's up, guys? We are talking about the NFL today. We're talking about the divisional round of the playoffs. We did our wild card weekend recap, and now we're doing our divisional round recap. And we're going to go in chronological order, talking about what we thought of the games that we saw. I would say not running enough. We only saw nine carries off Dalvin Cook for 18 yards. You only saw nine carries, but Kirk Cousins only threw for 172 yards. They were... 21 for 29. Still, that just shows that they were being passive yeah, but on it, offense. It's Kirk Cousins being passive, like... Yeah. They're being that passive is Kirk on offense. Cousins. Yeah. When Kirk Cousins in, is in a big game, he usually he just resorts throws, to those yeah, like easy completions, the, the like, stat patterns. Yeah, those this kind game, of plays. At the end of the day, this game was it was boring. It, was a, it day, was a boring game to at watch. At the end of the day, I think it was just San Fran has too many playmakers on that team. On that defense, they're just <sighs> defensively they were defensively they're amazing. Like offensively, they like didn't even play that great. Like Jimmy G only had 130 yards. But Minnesota just sucked. Like they played. Bad collectively. Don't, don't Minnesota have like an undefeated record when Cook when Dalvin Cook gets cert- a certain amount of touches? It wasn't Dalvin Cook. It was like it when was, he. Uh, it was. It was, no, it was, it was when uh, Dalvin Cook rushes for more than seventy yards. They always. And also, Zimmer like, rushed for eighteen. Zimmer was forty and zero when they rushed the ball more than thirty times. They only rushed it ten times. Yeah. So I mean. They were, There's a clear formula they were, that they yeah, did not use. They were absolutely getting shut down. Like, Dalvin Cook, nine carries for 18 yards. That's awful. Oh, that's terrible. Um, they just could really not produce anything. Um, didn't play that, didn't do that I much. have been uh, critical of Kirk Cousins this past season of how he does not show up in big moments. Um, and we just saw a prime example of that. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, 49ers, well... First of all, the 49ers defense is amazing. Second of all, on offense, you got Kyle Shanahan calling plays. He's so, so smart. Like, Jimmy G doesn't need to do a, a ton of his work himself. I'm still not sold on Jimmy G. Like I, I still am not either. But I think the, the 49ers have proven to everyone that they're going to be a run-first offense, and they showed that in the win. Uh, Tevin Coleman rushed 22 times, and they had some other guys in there. But, like, they're... Yeah, yeah. even though I'm not sold on Jimmy G, like... They're so good that they don't need him to be tremendous. They like this team would be successful with a lot of guys at QB. They I are... think yeah, I agree. I think you could replace Jimmy G with a lot of guys. Mm-hmm. Not saying like I don't think that's, that's talking bad on Jimmy G. I'm just saying that I think the 49ers have just so many weapons that it's really hard for a quarterback not to. And I mean, succeed. I see the defense like Richard Sherman like just. Just completely got guys takes everywhere. away one of your receivers. They've got guys everywhere. It's insane. And, and an offense and like Bosa, George, George Kittle, and Bo- Bosa. Bosa's, having Bosa's a, a rookie. Oh. Bosa's a rookie. He had two sacks, six tackles. Like, that so, guy, I mean, it's insane. Yeah, I don't see, I mean, Jimmy G still hasn't had to play a stellar defense, and he doesn't have to play one next week either. So, Hey, man, know. who knows? Uh, let's move on to the next game. Next game that took Ravens, place. Titans. Ravens Titans. I think this game surprised. I think this game was the most surprising. Um, well, I called a blowout by a long shot. Yeah. We all called that the Ravens would win. I predicted that it would be a shootout. I didn't predict that the Ravens would pretty Roman, much just. Roman I said the they would first, kill them. Roman called the first blowout, and yep. he was right. Except he got the team they, wrong. Said, wrong yeah. way, that's for sure. I don't know if it was just Lamar Jackson having he th- he threw fifty nine passes and only made thirty one percent. Okay, not listen, only 30, 31. 31. Okay, listen, listen. I really don't feel like Lamar Jackson had a bad game. I think a lot of his receivers let him down, and I don't think that Lamar Jackson should be throwing the ball 59 times. That is insane. Ryan Tannehill that threw is the ball 14 of, times. That's a lot of throws. Ryan that's Tannehill threw the ball 14 times, right? Yeah. They barely rushed. They Mark Ingram Lamar ran six rushed, times. Yeah. Like besides like Lamar, no one else really was targeted. I, I I think Harbaugh just didn't, he didn't, really wanted to rely on, well. on Lamar. I think he leaned too heavily on Lamar. He didn't coach that one well, Riffin. first of all. And a lot, there was a lot of drop passes, man. There's a ton, especially in the first half. But if we're really going to look at somebody that is absolutely running Tennessee right now, it's Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's oh, a monster. That guy yeah. is a freight train. He's, he's, still, he's still eating. He's still hungry. He averaged 6.5 a carry. That's insane. That's terrifying. He just, 30 carries, 195. He just looks like... He just looks unstoppable when he's running the ball. Like, just the... You can see how much power he has when he's running the ball. Like, when he's running downfield, when he's trying to beat guys around the edge, you can just tell he's just... He's just a walking freight train, and you said you said he was like a faster, more agile Marshawn Lynch. Agile Marshall. Yeah, 
And so, bigger than Marshawn. How scary is that? He was oh, bigger than he's fine. Like Harry Henry's like six three, like two thirty five, two forty yeah, probably. Derek guy Henry, is just a Derek monster. Henry's like going back for fourth plate to the Christmas dinner the way he's playing. He's just, <laughs> he also had a he's throwing TD. Man. As he's well. just going to Mandarin. And, and every he threw Sunday. a TD pass. He threw a TD, he threw a TD. Yeah, TD yeah, pass know. just for the icing on the cake. Oh my goodness! I think this game really caught me off guard. I thought. Uh, the Ravens were just a better team all around, better coaching staff. Man, my my Super Bowl, my two Super Bowl favorites are out, the Saints and the Ravens. I think anybody was stopping the Ravens. And it's 60, we said it's we dinner. said it was the Ravens Super Bowl to lose, and that they did. Is it the Titans Super Bowl to lose now? No, <laughs> the Titans have already exceeded everyone's expectations. I don't. They should not like. Even if they lose, they should keep their heads high. They they knocked oh, yeah. off two We're incredible teams. We're looking at a team, team that barely made the playoffs. They yeah they they barely made the playoffs as is. I think they should just be proud of themselves. Like win or lose, like that's just a great foundation to build from there. All you know oh, is the, build it, around Derrick Henry. It's gonna build sh- around Henry. If you like Tannehill, great. You like why Tannehill, not? Then try and shot yeah, Mariota. Absolutely. Oh, you know they're gonna shot Mariota. Little, maybe bolster your defense a little bit. Yeah. That team. Yeah. And their defense plays surprisingly well against the Ravens. I mean, yeah. Clearly, they've got good coaching. He knows what he's doing. So. Mm-hmm. Next game, uh, Kansas City versus the Texans. <laughs> this one was. This I one was mean, a doozy. I don't. I at twenty four nothing. I thought it was over. Like me and Roman were watching. We're ta- we were talking about wow. Like the worst division in the AFC has. Both te- both of their guys in an AFC Championship game. They got the Texans and the Titans, and then all of a sudden, touchdown for KC. We think, okay, so it's one touchdown. It's not bad. And then Houston, Bill on their O'Brien. own thirty, Bill O'Brien decides on his own thirty on fourth and four to fake a punt and give KC the ball what? back. And then another Patrick Mahomes play. Uh, Kelsey gets a. I think that was his first TD. First of three. One. First Kelsey of three. three TDs. I think that was his first of three. Ensuing kickoff. Fumble, and in case you recover, I think there was a fumble on the on the first TD. There was a fumble that got Casey the ball. Mm-hmm. Casey started three straight drives in two of them in the red zone and the other one on the thirty, basically. So bad game management by Houston. Uh, Bill O'Brien had a, a fourth and inches that he did not go for in midfield, but yet went for a fourth and four. Did, as a fake punt. Did you hear why he didn't go for that fourth and inches? Why? He said he didn't have a play call ready. He said Watson was pleading to go for it, and he said he didn't have anything ready. Man, just... That's horrid on Bill O'Brien coaching, and your man. offensive that coordinator. Is, yeah, that's that poor is coaching. That is terrible. <clears throat> that just sounds bad. Um, yeah, it does. And then Patrick Mahomes... Patrick Mahomes was Patrick Mahomes. Like, this guy should have made the Super Bowl last year. A bad call went against him, and his defense let him down against the Patriots. Uh, Coin toss let him down, basically. Brady converts on three fourth and longs in a row. Or third and long, sorry, in a row. And the Patriots go on to win the Super Bowl. But Patrick Mahomes, this is the best quarterback in the NFL. Over the last season, Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback. But the best quarterback in the NFL is Patrick Mahomes. And the stats he's putting up, Patrick Mahomes is arguably going to be the greatest quarterback of all time. So far, he's on, a, he's on a he's on a he's on a trajectory like that. I I just want to touch on KC. They're just such a well put together team. They oh, clearly Jenny knew Watkins, they Kelsey, clearly knew Kelsey, that they had well. to prioritize building around Terry Hill. They, they clearly knew that they had to build around Patty Mahomes. Like their defense isn't great, but you can just see all the weapons they have. Yeah, on offense. and Reed, they is, just got, Reed is doing a great. Andy job Reid's a great team. offensive coach. He's one of the best coaches in the league. Like that's just a. That is a perfect place for they a guy just, like Patty Mahomes. Just, to yeah, this team is going to overpower other teams' defenses. Look, they they were down twenty four nothing, then they went on a fifty one seven run. They scored seven touchdowns in a row. This yeah. is a playoff game on seven yeah. straight drives. Yeah. They, they broke the record. Touchdown. Before we move on to the next game, I gotta ask: Does Bill O'Brien deserve to keep his job at this point? <clears throat> I think he should. Be in mind that he was running the he's running the GM role right now. I as well. I think they should keep him. Um, he's got. Like, I think him and Deshaun have to just keep going. Like, they've made the playoffs four years in a row. You you cannot ignore that. In yes, a, yes, they made the playoffs four years in a row, all being nine and seven. But still, in a bad division as well. Still, it matters. They made the playoffs. In a bad I division. think they, they won a playoff game this year. They won a playoff game this year. Luckily. I think. I think they've got really good pieces on offense. They could work on. Uh, their defense, remember, obviously, remember their but, best player is injured. 
J.J. Watt was not playing like J.J. Watt. Right? That's true. That's they didn't true. have J.J. Watt. They, they traded Jadavion Clowney. They made a bunch of moves. The Clowney the, was surprising. They, they made a bunch move. of moves at the beginning of the season. They they brought in Laramie Tunsil. They brought in Kenny Stills from the Tunsil's Dolphins, which in. really helped them out. They had a 57 I, GD. Like, for me personally, I think they should just keep him. I mean, I think if they don't make the playoffs next year, then you get rid of him. I think you keep him. Personally, I think you get rid of him. Well... It's four years in the making. Yes, they're making the playoffs, but they're doing nothing with it. They yeah, did it, win a game. I'll give you that. They won a game, but they're coming out of a bad division, which they barely won this year against the Titans. And he made two terrible calls in both games. Against Buffalo, when they should have kicked a field goal, which I think was like a 40-something, they decided to go for it, which made zero sense and gave Buffalo the ball back. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, Buffalo choked for them. In this game, it looked like they had it in the bag. Until they go for that punt, which makes absolutely no sense. Dude, that fake I think fight. That, that it makes punt zero called, sense. That, that that punt call definitely shifted the the uh, uh, momentum yeah. tide. And it's inexcusable for a coach not to be prepared on a fourth and inches in a playoff game. Yeah. And to allow fifty one points in a playoff game. It's fair. When, uh, fair look, points. it's one game. Um, I think if next year and it comes to playoffs and Bill O'Brien lets you down again. You got to excuse, you know, like you you brought up Dwayne Casey yesterday when we yeah. were talking about it, yep. and now even though the Raptors kept making the playoffs, they weren't doing anything, but, I mean, the Raptors in that position were like the one seed one year and got swept second round. I know it's LeBron, but, That's fair. you know, this team is getting in the playoffs. They're not a tremendous, tremendous team. Like, they're not. Yeah, but Deshaun's only getting yet. better. Deshaun but, Watson's yeah, a great Yeah, but you got to use him only going to get better. Yes, yes, yes. Agreed, agreed. This is the point I'm making. Like, you've got you've got a decent core, and, you know, this is not a Super Bowl caliber team that they have. But neither the, the, the Titans. But neither the Titans. Neither the Titans. But, but we're seeing look, good that's a surprise. That's a surprise, what we're seeing. I think one more year with Bill O'Brien, see what happens with the playoffs, and then you got to make your decision. But, you know, that's this is a warning. This got to be a warning for Bill O'Brien. Oh, I don't fair. think this is... The nail I don't think it's him. yeah. I don't, I don't think, think it's nail the coffin form. here. I don't think you should fire him after this. Um, Deshaun Watson has advocated for Bill O'Brien, so yeah, you know, we'll see. Um, Chiefs look scary. I think it's the Chiefs who will lose from this point onwards. I would love to see a Chiefs San Fran yes Super Bowl. I'd love to see that. Uh, I Actually, I want to see Mahomes Green. is good enough to. You want to see Green Bay? I just want to see Aaron, I want to see Aaron Rodgers Mahomes go against each other. Uh, either way, it'd be pretty cool to see. Either I just way. want to see Casey win. I don't think. I don't think Tennessee. I can see Tennessee. I don't doing think Tennessee it. should be winning this game. I don't see any reason why they should be, unless Derrick Henry has like three hundred yards rushing. I think, I think it's uh, the Chiefs' game to lose. Derrick Henry's the first player in in uh, was it? I think the first player in like postseason or and regular season history to rush for one hundred and eighty yards in three straight. It was games. just three consecutive That's games crazy. to go one sixty. Yeah, plus. in postseason or regular season. Yeah, one hundred and eighty yeah. yards in three straight games. First player. It's he just, got one ninety five, I think, yesterday. Um, he got one or a couple sorry. days ago, on the weekend, whatever. Why can't I or, he went off, whatever it was. Yeah, I believe it was one ninety five. But anyways, he went absolutely off. Yeah. Uh, we'll move on to the last game. Uh, we'll let Colin talk about his Seahawks first. What did you make of the Seattle Green Bay game? Um, it, you know, man, it's just Aaron Rodgers. Like at the end of the day, I thought I thought we played really well. Um, there were a couple missed calls, but it happens. You know, the refs aren't perfect. Um, it's a bad missed call. I think, yeah, that it should have been fourth and one. That play at the end, where which pretty much sealed the game when Jimmy, Jimmy Graham, Graham caught the ball. Yep. Really? Only the top of his helmet was across here's, the yellow line. Here's my comment on that. First of all, there was no camera angle that showed the ball no, not crossing. Yeah. So there was no sufficient evidence that the ball did not reach. Obviously, you can infer. It's, it's sufficient obviously, enough that only the tip of his helmet crossed the Obviously, you can line. infer that, but there was no nothing showcasing that the ball did not meet that Anyways. yardage. Second of all, earlier in the game, Seattle had a fumble, a clear fumble, that was not reversed. It was a clear fumble. What was it? The second, first, or second quarter? It was the uh, first. Sure. It was the very first play. Well, why they not? What? What? Did, what was the ruling on that call? They said that he was down. No, they said that it was a fumble, but they didn't have clear evidence that anyone had received had like gained it, possession, possession from the fumble. Even though that sense. after the play, the Green Bay player picked up the ball and, and handed ran. it to the ref. That that doesn't. I think they called it that. That's why. That do, like. 
but that doesn't 100 percent mean that they had the ball as the as the whistle was blown. Remember, the play is that as the whistle was blown. You can have the ball as the whistle was blown, but then when you're still at the bottom of the pile wrestling for it, they can take. They it from got you, bailed but out. It's still, they got bailed ball. out by that call. Yes, but it and then Green Bay got with that call. It didn't make of anything. Like it didn't like result in like a touchdown. Like we just like punted it after. It still that. resulted in Green still, Bay not getting good field yardage. That 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 play at the end of the game, I think. You Seattle with no timeouts. And they took away our timeout, Seattle, which I want to okay, say. We that, had a timeout. That was, that was bad. Yeah, Seattle yeah. then with one timeout had one forty-eight to score a touchdown, going down almost the entire field. I don't think that's gonna happen. Still, okay. Regardless of that last play, if it was or if it was not a first down, I think I think this season was a success. I I didn't predict that we would make it this far. I thought we were going to maybe lose to the Eagles. I I was even surprised we made the playoffs. I mean, considering how many injuries we had over this you almost won your division. The season. You were 11 and 5. You are a delay of game call basically from winning your division almost. Our our team Suffered through many injuries throughout the year. That we lost fair. our starting center really early on. Our our tight end, Will Disley, who was having a great start to the year. I don't think anyone saw him coming. But we lost that. And then near the end of the season, we lose all three of our running backs within a matter of two weeks. Josh Gordon. And, Josh and Gordon. yeah, we picked up Josh so Gordon. We lost good. him. We didn't really use him that much. But anyways, it just Josh sucks. Gordon was big on third down. He, he was. He made a couple big good plays. Guy. But other than that, like he probably only had like less than 10 receptions. Anyways. From being a power running team, when that has like worked for us all season and that was their identity, from being a power running team to losing all of your uh, running backs, that's really hard to come back from. Um, so I applaud Pete Carroll. I applaud Russell Wilson for you know like taking the team on their back and getting us this far. Um, at the end of the day, it was just Aaron Rodgers, and and Aaron Rodgers is going to do Aaron Rodgers things. He made some big plays. He made he made, oh, yes, he made he made big plays when it mattered, um, and they were targeting uh, Devonte Adams all game. We had no answer for him. Well, we're, but, lo- we're looking at the best throwing QB in the league. Yeah, I've no one. Compares. I have I've said Aaron Rodgers is the most talented quarterback in the league. Obviously, I haven't watched every quarterback ever, but you think I think Aaron Rodgers is the most talented quarterback wise, ever. Yes. Oh, ever? Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like right now. So. Oh, that's oh, right. no, 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 no. I'm at, I'm at ever. Ever? Yeah. Okay. But but first, one more thing for Seattle. I think I think next year is going to come back even stronger. If we got this far with the players we were using now, you need to sign Clowney. If we, we resign Clowney, Clowney back, you need Ross to have a good year. Regardless, we get back Will Disley. We get back Justin Britt, our starting center for the whole year. Hopefully, they stay healthy. Knock on wood. I think there's just bigger things to come for Seattle. The the most revealing thing about this game for me is that Green Bay's defense is not equipped to win a Super Bowl because no. they let they let us come back in yep. the game. They they, they, well, they first of all, Seattle had the chances to win this game. There was a lot of opportunity to not capitalize on. Second of all, Green Bay's defense throughout the season they play well in the first quarter. And then Aaron Rodgers starts really well. So they get a big lead. Then the defense slows down. They let the other team back in the game. And then they squeeze out a win. And exactly that happened against Seattle. They started really well. Got to a big lead. Then slowly the other team creeps back. And they barely hang on. And playing against the 49ers now, they're not going to be able to... They got killed the last time they played. Aaron Rodgers is not going to be able to just... Go to town early on against that defense. He's gonna be pressured early on. Let's not talk about that game now. Let's talk about this one. The last time, let's just say, the last time Green Bay played San Fran, I'm pretty sure they got smoked. It was in the season. But the defense is not equipped to win a Super Bowl. This team, I don't see this. I don't see this running. defense stopping all the weapons that San Fran has. And like, I don't see Aaron Rodgers being able to beat that defense. Like that's just. I don't know. I It'll be. He's gonna have to pull yeah, some he's got vintage Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers yeah, magic. Aaron he's gonna have to do I will, his thing. I will. Yeah. I will. I'm yeah. gonna. I will say Aaron Rodgers. I don't think talent you, at QB best. Like, I don't most think. Talented QB I don't time. think you can count out the Packers just because they have Aaron Rodgers. Like no. Aaron Rodgers is always yeah, gonna put right. you in. A, you're right. He's always gonna put you in a position to win. Like you. You know that going in. Like you know every game against Green Bay is gonna be a close one because Aaron Rodgers is just gonna keep his team in it. Um. But yeah. Oh. I think. I don't know. I've already said my take. The one thing I want to say about Seattle is I think bringing in Lynch hurt you guys more than it helped you. I don't agree at all. Why? I don't agree either just because we needed a running back anyways. Like, we we needed someone. Like, 
It there makes, was literally no other running back. Makes, I understand that. It makes sense because we've like like Peach Carroll. Pete Carroll has coached Marshawn before. He's been in the system. He's worked with Russ Wilson. That's like an easier transition, right? Because we needed like to throw him in within a week. We signed him oh. four days before we were supposed to play our last I game understand. of the season. The only, okay, maybe it was a good thing bringing him, but they didn't use him right. I'll reframe what I said because every time they put him in, they ran the damn ball. They didn't pass yes, once. I, yeah, it was. Right. I disagree. There were. You there were complaining were, when we were watching the games that every I time also he goes saw in, many times when. Marshawn Lynch was out there blocking for the old line. There were many plays where Marshawn was out there blocking. The majority of the times he was in, they were running. The first, yes, I will agree with you in that San Francisco game before the playoffs. When Marshawn was in the game, they did anticipate run, and that did happen. But but Pete Carroll was smart, and he knew coach would look for that. And in the past game yesterday, Marshawn, yes, he was running, but a lot of times I saw him blocking because we needed to get yards. And we knew Marshawn getting one yard to carry. When he's not on the goal line, it's not going to do his anything. He's Big. great for short distances. He's great. Like you saw, like he got oh, four like, touchdowns where he had to work too for bad it, too. You guys didn't know that he had to work for it. One big thing that we saw that, that we, was a that we made. That we, <laughs> that was a one big thing that we haven't seen many times before is that Pete Carroll gave the ball to Marshawn Lynch on the one yard line in a playoff game. Not once, but twice. That's and what happened? Way. They scored both times. Round of applause. That's a little Good weird. job to Pete Carroll for giving Marshawn Lynch the ball from one yard line or closer in a playoff game. And we'll end it there. Thank you for listening to the Amateur Hour Sports Podcast. Colin is shooting me some bad looks. Uh, we will have our um, championship round predictions coming later this week, so stick around for that. Follow us on Twitter at AmateurPC on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube if you want to get updates for that episode coming out. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Follow on Spotify. Uh, last thing, merch has dropped. Go get your merch. Go get merch your merch. Drop. Uh, the link will be in the description. jgermanian.redbubble.com. Go buy your merch. There's stickers. There's mugs. There's water bottles. There's a ton of stuff to go Get a nice at. gift for your mother. She'll appreciate it. Get, get, get gifts. Put a sticker on your laptop. Whatever. Get your merch. Support the show. We got we got new equipment for this episode. First time we've got equipment. We got a stand. Yeah, we're one. upgraded. Slowly we're upgraded. but surely. We're, we're, we're making our way up. But... Stay tuned. More episodes on the way. As usual, we post every single day. So stick around. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode.